Okay, remember that they are changing my voice. Let me be clear again. I do not want any bombs dropping in Palestine. I want the hostages released and I want a ceasefire. If they do not release the hostages, if you were to stop bombing, then I want in that in that case, then an invasion in that case, in that instance, in that scenario, is logical. Okay? So I want Hamas to release the hostages unconditionally. I want the UN troops there in an Al-Aqsa Mosque. I want them there at the borders, okay, the West Bank and Gaza, at the passings. I want them to help patrol Israel and to operate on both sides of the border and to make sure that people are being treated fairly and they're not plotting an invasion and so on and so forth. I want thousands of UN troops there year-round, okay? This is what is right. The reason why I want this is because it's right. Do I think that they will do it this way? I do not think that they will do it this way, okay? I do not believe that. I do not believe that these people are taking orders from me. I'm supposed to be in charge. I'm in charge on the highest level spiritually, but they're not responding because they don't worship God. So they don't obey God's chain of commands. If you loved God, you would obey his commands, which come through me. They don't come from the churches, the mosques, the synagogues. They don't come from the hippies. They don't come from the LGBT community. They don't come from black supremacists, white supremacists, brown supremacists, you know, or any other supremacists. They don't come from China. They don't come from Mars. They come through me. Okay. I've proven a million times over that I do not have delusions of grandeur. People who live in the psychological construct have delusions. They're deluded. They think that love is derived from the psychological construct. It's not. It's de derived from morally precise justice and righteousness. Okay? They think it's derived from social norms. It's not. They think that, you know, they can be complicit and play a part, you know, paying taxes to corrupt governments. With no higher cause. It's one thing to pay taxes. It's another thing to not obey God through me. Because then you're clearly complicit. What are you doing with your life in this world? You're trying to make people feel a little bit better? Throw them a cookie? You know, give a homeless person a bag of chips? Why 9 million people starve to death every year in the world? Even if you give all your money to it. Even if you have a million dollars, you give it all to feed the hungry. That's like a, a drop of water given to a Palestinian. It doesn't do that much. Okay, the people in charge and the governing class in charge of the world, okay, the flesh, in that sense, who are cheating me on my right to lead everything, including the flesh. Okay, but obviously they can't cheat me out of being God's son and, and, and you know, judging people when they die and so on and so forth. Okay, those people, they're evil people. If they are not child molesters themselves, they are in business corporations, corporate partnerships with child molesters and child traffickers. And they have no higher cause. Okay? So I'm going to tell you this parable to help you understand. And I'm going to give you some examples. Okay, so th then I'm going to end the video. Okay. So there was once a boat. And the boat had different sections. It was a pirate ship. And the different sections had different flags. Some was America, some was Russia... Some was North Korea, different flags on the ship. They, they covered all the nations of the world. But the main flag that dominated all the other flags was a pirate flag. And on this pirate flag, there was a symbol of a prostitute and a beast. The people liked to stand in places where they didn't see the flag. They only saw their own flag. And they would hand people cannonballs. And they'd hand people bullets to go rape and kill, they'd sharpen swords, and they'd raid for, um, they'd raid outposts, and they'd rape and kill people, they'd make rope for them to tie them up, they'd feed the pirates, the main, the main pirates who are attacking these people, when they're all on the pirate ship, they'd have their children, they massage their egos, when people didn't uphold the core pirate culture, through the, the various compartments of the ship, they would harass them, 
bully them, call them names, make them feel unwelcome, cause them to commit suicide, sometimes kill them, beat and rape them. Not every single person on the ship would take part in the raping, but they'd take part in the greater process, the greater system. Not a single person there had a, had a, a divine purpose, a real purpose. Almost all of them pretended using psychology and propaganda and theater arts and interpretations of mere books. They all pretended to have some relationship with God. Most of them pretended to have a relationship with a God or a God's or that they reincarnated. None of them had a universal, logical, and provable higher cause. Such as universal pinpoint and moral precision, which is easy to explain. It's wrong to rape for no reason. It's wrong to kill for no reason. It's wrong to steal for no reason. Provable. No one has any argument they could say. The most provable thing in the world is universal pinpoint and moral precision as the highest cause. One day, the person who is supposed to be in charge of them came with fleets of ships in the skies as far as the eye can see, an infinite amount. What will happen when he finally makes contact with them and asks them what the heck they're doing? That is part of the problem here. Israel, Palestine, you name it. Syria, Jordan, Lebanon, Iraq, Egypt, Sudan, you name it. America, you name it. They're all part of the greater global pirate ship. And you people are the people on the ship. So both sides are wrong. If some people on the ship start starving some other people on the ship, Okay, should the guy who should be in charge of all of them start shedding tears? No. But he should be mad that people are being abused. Yes. And there are people being abused in a way that is unequal. Why should some of the people on the ship cause the other ones to suffer when they're all in the wrong? Those who are mildly retarded are less wrong. Okay. But the ones who are able to cause the other ones to suffer because of more money, because of more people, because of networking, they should suffer more. Why are you richer and pushing the line more for the pirate ship and then making the poor people suffer? Why is Israel, America, and its allies, Canada, the UK, France, you name it, you are the richest oppressors on the pirate ship and you have the nerve to persecute me and hassle me for saying these things things that you do not believe will cause you to be overthrown but you sit there with your forefathers smug pirate way about you as if 189,000 people don't die every day you act like you don't understand the concept of God's son and righteousness. You act like in the beginning, you were there with your pirate spirit. No, in the beginning, I was there, not you. Righteousness, justice, truth, the soul, the one God set apart from the start. You don't know what the hell you're doing. And you are the examples that are being made. You think that if you interfere with my videos... And if you hack my brain and try to cause me to say things in a different manner, in a different voice than I otherwise would, the same things I would otherwise say, you think you get something? That's how far gone you are. Let's ask the kindergarten class. They know better than that. Why don't you know better? The kids know better. Why don't you?